What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and we have some Titanic games coming up. Our next game is Newcastle United, which is going to be another tough game. Koulibaly and Soboslai coming to the side, but again I'm playing my strongest team, we need to keep winning. Welcome to Anfield, Liverpool Newcastle, always a classic game in the Premier League and I'm really really excited for this game because we are now on a winning run. And that Chelsea game gave us so much confidence, let's keep it going. Oh wow, Kylian Mbappé has five goals in the last three matches, what a player. Take a bow Mbappé, absolutely insane. So Newcastle have Kranjo, a pretty decent goalkeeper, they have James Tarkovsky and Luke Shaw from Burnley and Man United. And they have Giovanni Simeone, an Italian striker. So we have to watch out for San Maximin, who is a lightning fast player. Oh, Salah. Near post, Mohamed Salah! Oh, he hits the post, I can't believe it. Oh, I honestly thought that Mohamed Salah... Oh, hello, Soboslai. Havertz. Mbappé, surely! Unbelievable, he misses it. Wow, two big chances created in the first 10 minutes. And really, we should be... Oh, look at how close that is. We should be at least 1-0 up. Go on, Salah. Surely this time. Salah goes through and it's saved. Again, Cranio saves it. But what a start. Honestly, we could be 3-0 up. And Sancho. No penalty. Oh, maybe the defender got the ball. Oh, Lobotka is back in behind my defense. Alisson! Oh, what a double save. Newcastle could have taken the lead, but we really should have scored three goals already. And oh, what a double save by Alisson. What an end to end game this is. Already 22 minutes in, and there was so much action. Another chance for Newcastle. San Maximin. Come on. Yes, Fabinho. Love that. No. Okay, Alisson. Good catch. No, don't kick it out, you idiot. Yes, good Fabinho gets the ball. Koulibaly. Go on, go on Soboslai, come on. You have the pace. Soboslai. Oh, what is that pass? How could Sobosley has such good passing? How does he mess up there? Quick passing from Liverpool to open up the opposition if they Mbappé! He hits the post again! This is incredible! Salah hit the post and Mbappé as well. Oh look at that. Oh damn it, that's so close. Oh my goodness, I tackle Simeone twice. Done well to get it wide. Come on. Not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. Anfield in full voice. What a sight. Quick passing from Liverpool. Go on. The opposition if they can. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a mistake by the goalkeeper! And this is absolutely incredible. I've never seen this in career mode before. The goalkeeper just gives us the ball. I just read his pass to the Newcastle player and Jadon Sancho scores after a long, long time. But what is the goalkeeper doing? And out of all the chances, that goes in. Seriously, unbelievable. Jadon Sancho, five goals now in the Premier League. But what on earth was the Newcastle goalkeeper doing? Oh, the 90th minute. This is where the cheese usually happens, I told you! Newcastle equalized with the absolute last kick of the game. Piccini, and I just couldn't defend it. It's just a simple cross, and at the back post, who is that? Robertson. I was spamming the clearance button, and Robertson doesn't even jump. What is he doing, Robertson? He's just ball watching and of course Piccini from like two yards out will head it in. That's not Alisson's fault. Look at how disgusted I am on the touchline. And we don't even have time to do anything. Look, oh man, this, this game, this game. 
The Liverpool fans are livid and I am one of them. I mean, we really should have won this game. The amount of clear-cut chances I missed. I mean, in the first 15 minutes, we could have been 3-0 up. The opposition grows into the game and we just let Newcastle take a point away. Steal a point with a 90th minute goal. To be fair, Sancho's goal was lucky, but we really should have been 3-0 up. And yes, Newcastle had some chances. The reason why I don't have that many shots on target is because I hit the post twice. But maybe Newcastle deserved the draw. I'm just salty that we conceded in the 90th minute. That just always hurts. Sancho was the man of the match we were on a, such a good winning run we scored a 90th minute winner against Chelsea an 88th minute winner against Aston Villa so sooner or later our luck ran out and it was against Newcastle which is a shame because Man City, Man United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea all won their games good news is that Arsenal beat West Ham so at least West Ham didn't get closer to us so our top four position is not in danger but now Man City are again seven points clear at the top of the table and we just need to do better so there are two youth academy players who want to get promoted Donal O'Neill and Chris Ennis and Chris Ennis is a 17 year old right midfielder look at that acceleration and sprint speed already a very fast agile player I just really hope that he doesn't have like one star weak foot or something crazy like that and Donal O'Neill is an out and out striker very tall as you can see and already very fast very strong oh wow this guy could be one of my favorite players let's promote him to the first team as well Donald O'Neill 63 overall 84 to 90 potential jumping strength aggression very very high already stamina 79 and I mean oh wow this could be our like Peter Crouch <laughs> basically and yes, Ennis, who has great potential, has 4-star skills, 3-star weak foot, and let's hope that O'Neill... Oh my goodness! This guy will be a career mode legend! He has 5-star weak foot, 3-star skills, and look at that! Almost 2 meters tall, and already he's very fast, and very strong. I mean, that's such a rare combination, so I will loan out these guys, but I can't wait to get them better. Thomas Müller is just ridiculous. I mean, what is this guy doing? 21 goals in 17 matches. At this rate, he will score like 40 goals at the end of the season. What? And Mbappe has 11 assists, but Martial has 12. So I need Mbappe to get more assists. And this will be our first FA Cup game. And what is that guy's hair? What is that? Unbelievable. He has a whole tree on his head. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. So this is my second team. Connolly, the youth academy right back plays. Welcome to Anfield. Oh, this is going to be a really, really important game. We need to bounce back from that draw against Newcastle. I'm still salty. I always am when I can see the 92nd minute equalizer, which I just couldn't defend. But the lesson is we need to take our chances. We need to get 2 go to nil up. Gruic, Mane, and Wilson. Uh, he received the ball on the edge of the box. Oh, look at little Connolly. All the way, son. All the way. And Connolly. Oh, my goodness. Connolly almost scored, but his shot gets blocked. Really? Great save gun. Come on, Liverpool. What? Okay, Angus gone. Good, good catch, but what is going on? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, he missed it. Ooh, Liverpool are living dangerously here. If we don't buck up our ideas, we could go out to Fulham. Go on. Go on, Connolly. And, oh. Brewster. Oh my goodness. We need some fresh legs. Lewis, Wilson and Connolly are very tired. So Robertson, Ox and Aarons are coming on. We need to win this. We don't want to replay. We have a League Cup semi-final coming up. Still passing. Not really making inroads. Go on. Oxley chamberlain What a save. Money. Oh, why do you... Oh, don't back heal it there. Go on, Aarons. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Oh, what a mistake. 
Oh, oh, surely money! Yes! Finally, unbelievable! It took 71 minutes to finally score a goal against Fulham, and also it took a mistake, Fulham mistake. Uh, what a mistake by the Fulham player! And Sadio Mane is in, and he puts it away, getting money. Uh, Robertson has to catch back. Oh, keeper! Are you kidding me? Honestly, that is an awful clearance. And the shot shaves the post. We are actually lucky that Fulham didn't equalize here. Oh no. Oh my goodness gracious me. The ultimate AI has done it again. Second game in a row. We concede a 90th minute equalizer. But this time it's actually a world class goal. So fair play to Fulham. And fair play to Johan Bach. That is a stunning goal. Watch this. He flicks it on. And then he just puts it into the top corner. Like it's a piece of clay. Honestly, that is absolutely ridiculous. What a goal. Just wow. We conceded back to back 90 of minute equalizers. And now we have to go to Fulham. Amid of all the fixtures in January. Where we have a League Cup semi-final against Tottenham. We have to squeeze in uh, an FA Cup replay as well. And to be fair to Fulham, they probably deserved uh, at least a draw. They actually had more shots than me. I just need to get better gameplay-wise because this is just not good enough. Minamino was the man of the match. That's actually a positive. And to be fair, this was our second team. So in the, in the FA Cup, Everton, Man United went through Arsenal and also Man City, Chelsea without a problem. Tottenham as well so we were actually the only big side who will need a replay which is pretty embarrassing but we are still in the FA Cup and that's the most important so we are training Woodburn, Gruich, Ajario and Angus Gunn and they are all getting slowly better and better Woodburn is now 78 rated okay so we get the transfer offer for Ethan Ward who is very very low rated even though he, his rating already went up so I want to sell him, then I will shortlist him and I will just monitor his career every season. We will scout him, check his rating and if he is good enough, we can buy him back later. So let's accept this offer. And now it's time for the League Cup semi-finals. Man United are already one up on aggregate against Manchester City and now we play Tottenham. Liverpool, Tottenham, a League Cup semi-final. We already beat Tottenham in the Premier League. We took away their unbeaten streak so i'm sure that they will be up for this game but we have to be up for it as well my strongest team is back welcome to the league cup semi-finals first leg i want to win as many trophies as possible in this calibre mode and especially we need to bounce back after two back-to-back -back games where we conceded in the 90th minute and look at the liverpool fans they are really up for this game probably tottenham are playing their best team so we are playing our best team as well and it's the actual top four in the league cup semi-finals man city man united liverpool and tottenham these are the four strongest sides in the premier league right now in this career mode what harry kane scored six goals in his last three matches so here is the tottenham side they have danny ceballos ryan sassanion sergio roberto on the bench and they have a very strong team they signed the sar richarlison weigel ducore john stones the vrai from inter klosterman from the bundesliga go on a real shine to Liverpool's play. Oh, what Salah! Oh, what a start! What a Salah! Take a bow! That was fantastic finishing! And straight away, we are leading Tottenham. Great start to the League Cup semi finals. Oh, Pickford is just livid. Watch this pass by Mbappe. First time, and Salah has the finish with the outside off his right foot he buries it brilliant oh uh, pochettino in this career would of course he's the tottenham manager and he's livid oh uh, what a run by the tottenham player and harry kane almost scored what a chance for tottenham oh harry kane that was a really tough technique and that almost went in damn oh go on Trent. Oh my goodness, Trent has the pace. Trent Alex Reynold. And Salah! Mbappe has to be! 
Oh, what an incredible piece of defending. John Stones, watch this. He blocks it on the line and he deflects the shot onto the post. Incredible piece of defending by Tottenham. Put the corner in the middle. Oh, what? Oh, what? They just tried to score directly. Oh, no. Oh, Harry Kane. She really? Oh, please, Alisson! Okay, he punches it clear. Wow, this is such a tight game. I mean, here, Tele Ali brilliantly shields the ball. And then Alisson can get back in time to punch it clear. It would have been so annoying if the ball just fell into the goal. Oh, wow, Tele Ali turns me. And then he passes it to Rich Alisson. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't oh, really we got so one. lucky. Ismail Lazar could have had an open goal. Really sharp Aarons, got the goal. he just came on as a substitute at half time. Go on, Sancho, come on. Yes! Jesus, Sancho, Tunnel, Liverpool. It was mostly Tottenham who dominated this game, but it's us who take our chances. Jaden Sancho with a really clinical finish. The key to this was Naby Keita's first time pass and Jaden Sancho's first touch. That is awesome, how he steps onto the ball and then he just clinically finishes it. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Don't forget, don't miss this. Oh, 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 Referee that could be a red. Naby Keita chops down the Tottenham player. I didn't mean to do that. Please, referee, only a yellow. Thank you. All right, I think I will make some substitutions. And you know what? Jaden Sancho is pretty tired. Let's bring on Sadio Mane. Also, let's save Sancho for the Premier League game. And let's bring on Bobby Firmino for Kai Havertz. Why not? Firmino needs to run out. Please. Oh my, what is that? From a deep, deep free kick, Tottenham score. And again, I just couldn't. It's these goals on ultimate difficulty are just undefendable. If you guys play career mode, just try out ultimate difficulty. What a header. I mean, Alisson has to come out to his five yard or six yard line. And this guy, Weigel, rises above everyone and heads in a bullet header before Fabinho headbutts his back, actually. <laughs> oh, go on. Naby Keita! Oh, Pickford saves it. That was a good shot. Oh, look at Bobby. Firmino. And Mbappé! Yes! Mbappé has done it! And then it takes about. Come on! Really patient play. Somehow Firmino gets past the Tottenham defender. And Mbappé finishes the move off with a great goal. Fantastic team play move. What a thrilling game this was. Tottenham could have scored uh, more goals, but I think we could have scored more as well. And finally, the magnificent three all got one goal each. Salah, Mbappe and Jadon Sancho. And I think we were just more clinical. We also had a much better shooting accuracy. Tottenham hit the post and, and they were just a little bit unlucky today not to score more goals. But we were just really ruthless with our finishing. Salah, Mbappe and Keita got one assist as well, Salah was the man of the match. So now that Sancho is back from his injury, he is getting off the goal scoring charts. Uh, Mbappe is our top scorer with 18 goals, he has 14 assists as well, Salah has 13 goals, 8 assists, Mane 9 goals, 8 assists, Sancho 7 goals, Kyver 7 as well. We have some Liverpool legends like Salah, Mane and Coutinho and especially their physical stats are declining pretty pretty badly. Coutinho is still, technically he is very good, he was never famous for his pace, but for example Mane who is very very fast, his acceleration and agility is going down. Thankfully Mane's and Salah's finishing is still intact and until they don't get like a lot worse finishing wise, I will keep playing them and even when they basically slow down a lot, Mane and Salah could sometimes drop back 
into midfield like Bobby Firmino has done this season I'm, I mean Firmino lost a lot of pace he wasn't the fastest player to begin with but now I'm playing him in midfield and he's actually really suited to that role as well this is how the league table looks like first we play Southampton that's also a very important game because Man City are seven points ahead of us so I'm going with this team Soboslai and Joe Gomez coming to the side for some tight players but this is a very strong lineup Let's beat Southampton. Welcome to Anfield and this is the first time this season that we are playing in the snow and I wonder what kind of shenanigans the FIFA has up his sleeve today because I just feel that in the snow there will be some epic drama and so let's check out Southampton's lineup so again they have the German goalkeeper Müller, they have Enkulu, Tomori, some new signings, Eric Pulgar another new signing and I think Puado and Jonathan David is a very very good front line we need to watch out especially for Jonathan David trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good oh whoa 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 oh Alisson what a save what a start for Southampton they are not messing about that was a big big shot go on this is it Kai Havertz have a dig oh what a save Müller unbelievable Kai Havertz he has a dig but Müller saves that as well down. And I see Salah. Go on, Salah. Good first touch. It's Salah. Now. Salah. Mbappe. Mbappe. And Sancho! Yes! Finally! Kaden Sancho gets on the score sheet. 1 0 Liverpool. And Sancho is in red hot form. He scored in the previous game and now he scores again. Look at the Liverpool fans going wild, a really nice counter attack, Salah to Mbappe to Sancho and that is a lovely finish. Sancho was injured for quite a long time, I think like two months, but still he already has six goals in the Premier League. So I'm bringing on three fresh players for Salah, Soboslay and Trent, Mane, Keita and Aarons coming on. Go on, go on Nabi, Nabi led. You can finish the game off, Nabi! Keita hits the post! Oh no, Nabi Keita, I was sure that he would score that. Why would he take it with his right foot with a very weird animation? What? What the hell? What was that, Sancho? I wanted to clear it and he just miss kicks the ball. Jaden Sancho, 92 rated player and he can't clear the ball proper, properly. And Mbappe, yes. Oh, what a mistake. Mbappe, hit it! Yes! Mbappe, finally! He finishes the game off. Absolute brilliant. Oh no. Mbappe just trolls the Southampton fans. Oh, that celebration though. That is class. And Mbappe probably not make the defender as well. And then look how strong he is. And what a finish as well. Oh, this is exactly what we needed after dropping points to Newcastle United in the last minutes of uh, the, one of the previous games. We need a winning run again. But to be fair, before that Newcastle game, we won like eight games in a row. And Mbappe has 16 goals now. Wonderful season he's having. All right, Neil Armstrong is going. Oh, Robertson is a little bit tired. Oh, come on now. Oh, surely not. Oh, what a block. What a block, Gomez. And can we go on the counter-attack? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at Mane. Oh, referee! I would have been clean through, but that's probably... Oh, wait, that's a red card, actually. I know that animation. Yes! Fikayo Tomori gets a red card. It's going from bad to worse for Southampton. And yeah, it was late. It was not great. And it's a red. This was a really tough, really hard game. I had to work really hard to beat Southampton. And that's how it should be in the Premier League, you know. We had more chances to score me even more goals. But to be fair, Southampton also had some chances. We had to make some incredible blocks and Alisson made some big saves. So it was an even game in terms of the chances so I'm, I'm delighted that we won the game and 
Kylian Mbappé, another man of the match performance. Yeah, so Vijaria gets a rating boost, is 82 rated now, well done. Look at this, Van Dijk is considering his future at Liverpool because he is rotated sometimes when he's tired. This just doesn't make any sense to me. He plays almost every game in the Premier League, in the Champions League. Yes, in the League Cup, he doesn't play, but I mean, that's, I think, perfectly understandable. And even in the League Cup semi-finals he played, but in the earlier rounds, I mean, that's how it is in real life. Soboslai got a knee injury, he will be out for three weeks. That's a little bit unlucky, but it's thankfully not a long injury. Man City are relentless, just like in real life last season and two seasons ago, they just keep on winning. Tottenham won as well and Man United beat Huddersfield, no surprise there. Because Man City beat Chelsea, we pulled away really from Chelsea and also Arsenal won. So Arsenal are hot on our heels. At least we are very well clear of Everton, Chelsea and, and West Ham. West Ham actually collapsed, they lost to Tottenham so I think West Ham are out of the top 4 race. Huddersfield, Stoke and Fulham are really in big, big trouble. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later guys, goodbye!